With the vaccination rollout in full swing, I was lucky enough to get both of my vaccines. But like many people in this world, I hate needles. I can't explain why, but even looking at a photo of a needle makes me feel uneasy. And if you're afraid or anxious, don't worry, you are in good company. The exact number of people who are anxious around needles is unknown, but we do know that it's around 1 in 10. But that ratio changes depending which age group you're in, so the younger you are, the more likely you are to feel anxiety about it. Luckily, there are useful and effective approaches that can help you manage this and get past the anxiety so it doesn't get in the way of what you want to do in your life and getting your COVID vaccination. So here I'll be covering some evidence-based techniques that can help reduce anxiety in general and a couple of techniques that could reduce the risk of fainting if that's an issue for you. There are many different techniques that are helpful and each person is different. So think about how you have avoided or controlled anxiety responses in the past and how you can adapt it to confronting needles. One method is controlling your breathing through breathing exercises. There are many different variations, but here is one method. Sit down in a comfortable position with your back upright but not stiff and let your shoulders and jaw relax. Put one hand down on your belly and take a long, slow, deep, gentle breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Try to breathe in deeply into the back of your ribs. It can also help to think of taking in a really nice smell. Do this for five breaths. And if possible, practice this exercise three times every day for a week before moving on to face your fear. One technique is called exposure therapy or the ladder technique, involving building up slowly to the event and practicing things that get you focused in a planned and controlled way. This might include setting up time to think about it, seeing pictures of needles, watching videos, and possibly even going to where you'd go for your vaccination, allowing your body to slowly get used to the response it has to the thing that scares you. In time, this process called exposure often means your body has less of a reaction to the thing that used to provoke a very strong anxiety reaction. For proof that this works, Think about any new thing that you've done that made you scared and how much less anxious you felt after doing it a few times. For some people, getting it done quickly, not looking at the needle, and generally distracting themselves helps. In my case, this is ideally followed by sitting down further at a cafe and treating myself to something nice. So let's talk about fainting. Fainting is caused by a drop in blood pressure. So, if we can keep that blood pressure from dropping, that would be ideal. One technique is called applied tension. To practice applied tension, sit down somewhere comfortable. Tense the muscles in your arms, upper body and legs and hold the tension for 10 to 15 seconds or until you start to feel the warmth rising in your face. Release that tension and go back to your normal starting position. After 20 to 30 seconds, go through the tension procedure again until you feel the warmth in your face. Repeat the sequence so that you've practiced the tension about five times. If you can, practice this sequence of techniques three times every day for about a week before moving to face your fear. Do this just before your vaccination and just afterwards. During the vaccination itself, try and keep the arm that is getting injected relaxed. By the way, if you get headaches while after doing this exercise, take care not to tense the muscles in your face and head. Also, be careful when tensing any part of your body that you might have health problems with. It often helps to take a seat afterwards too to help you recover. It may be helpful to know that many vaccination centres have seating areas to wait 15 minutes after the jab. Many use this opportunity to show off that they've had a vaccine by taking photos and sharing it online. Whatever your method, you can always tell any member or staff at a vaccination site if you're feeling anxious. They are there to help you in any way possible. You're not putting them out of their way by letting them know what help you need when you're having injections. They may be able to fast track you through a queue or take you to a part of the centre that is less stimulating. They are there 
because they really want to help people like you have their vaccination. They know many of us are not big fans of needles. If you're a Derby or Derbyshire resident and you want support with needle phobia or have other difficulties with anxiety, you can self-refer to Talking Therapy. You can find this by googling Derby Talking Therapy CCG NHS or by talking to your GP. And don't forget, when you're having an injection, you're really giving yourself the best protection against COVID and protecting those around you, alongside helping us all to get back to more of the things we love doing. I'm Dr. Victor Jagannathan, a research officer in behavioral science working in the health psychology department of Derbyshire Community Health Services NHS Foundation Trust. And thank you for listening.